So you want to learn how to code Laps Blue in Minecraft? Well, this one is going to be a little bit of a toughie, but I will be showing you how to do it. Uh, commands will be linked in the description. Not linked, but you know, in the pinned comment. So just stay there. And yeah. So I'm just going to set this up real quick. Since I want to display them. So for the item I will be using to make Laps Blue will be the light blue dye right so first thing um if you want to make if you want to make less blue you want it probably like how i had it in my gotcha video is that so when i dropped it it stuck to place and i could move it around and suck people up right so first you're going to run give at s command block like so to get a command block and i'm going to grab a lever right and we're gonna need a repeating command block for this so if I want okay hold up so first I will be doing since I don't want anyone to be able to use my lapsed blue right I will be making it so that it can only be used if it is named lapsed blue instead of you know light blue dye laps capital L blue capital B one word because if it's two words it breaks so what we're gonna do is execute as at E this makes it so it's an entity so at E it's like the entity type equals item name equals laps blue this allows it to distinguish to laps blue at S at at S means that it will run the subsequent commands at the left blue so tp at e and then i'm assuming you don't want to be teleported to your own left blue right so tag equals exclamation mark gojo which removes the dojo tag from the selector and let's give it a range of 10 this is changeable you can change whatever you want it to be but i'm gonna give it like a range of five or ten yeah i'll do like not five. Oh. At S. <laughs> yeah, I'm being a little stupid. Okay. So this causes it to suck up everything that is not you, assuming that you came from my last video and you've already tagged yourself Gojo. So this is the basic form of it, right? So if assuming that you're like running on a low-end device, you could optimize this by using a test for command. But I don't really do that if it's lagging you guys and you say it's lag lag you teleport these guys in five seconds. Make sure you have a game rule command block output run to false. Because if you do to true, then every time it teleports, it's, you're going to get spammed. So unless you like, like that, I mean, then that's how you do it. So for the last blue, you see how it falls down, right? If you want to stay in its place, you can run slash. So we can just basically steal from this other one, right? It'll same same thing. Just execute as at e, you know, last blue, and it runs it as the last blue. So tp at s, and then around point one should be good, but I'll put point two just in case. Okay, hold up. So if you do. And I'm assuming you don't want to pick you want it to pick up items. You can fix this by item. And that will stop it from clicking itself, should it? So then it's point zero three maybe. Alright, that's good enough. So regardless, that will cause it to stay in place. So if you drop it over here, it will be sucked up. It won't be sucked up. You know, good all. And then, if we want it to move where our cursor is, like how I did in my video, we're gonna run execute as at A. And this is gonna be the tricky part. Tag equals Gojo, right? So, assuming you already have the tag Gojo, it needs to be capitalized by the way. Uh, tag equals Gojo has item, right? This runs, checks if they have a specific item in their hand item equals light blue dye 
location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand. So this me means so that when they have light blue die in their hand, it'll move. Or well, yeah, that's the intention. And so you want to make it so that they sneak, so you have to do position one two. This is half a block, one and a half blocks, unless entity at s di direction x is equal to zero. Run tp at e. Oh no, tp at e. Yeah. Type equals item. Name equals laps blue. Yeah, type equals item name equals laps blue. Um, and so to make it go where you're looking, you have to use carrots, and then you can use the direction x, y, z, and then we're gonna make it. So this is adjustable, however far you want it to trace. I'd say I recommend above five blocks. So maybe like seven, right? Power this, and then it is staying. Then you get some light blue dye. I don't think you have to name the dye last blue, but yes, it will follow. So then you get this little sucking mechanic that last blue has, it's collapsing. And yeah, so if you came from my other video, you're probably wondering, oh, what's the, where's the effects, right? So gonna have a running command block right and then same thing as right here right control a control C if you're on co uh, what keyboard and then just delete from the run particle minecraft no minecraft sonic sonic explosion there and what you should notice is that once you power it on get a ton of particles if you are on a lower end device you can reduce the rate by so once a second you can turn it down to 20 or ha two times a second turn it down to 10 etc etc I like it at the higher rate because not only can I can my like, device handle it but it looks kind of clean when you're <laughs> dragging it and it has the trail and we can have an additional move since we're going to be left with a left blue. So we're going to have two left blues, right? So uh, let me duplicate it, right? So if you don't know how to duplicate, you can just easily duplicate and create it by getting an armor stand, give it to and take it back. All right, so we have two left blues. So if you want to add an additional move that's non-throwable, we can have... So we already have basically part of the, the code right here. We can just delete from the run. Run TP at E. Teleport at E R equals, I'd say sevens, since that's the range in between you and your left blues. Or six, R equals six. And then you want to exclude yourself because I tried that in my other world one kind of terribly and then you can move them to right in front of where you're looking so around two away and this makes it so that instead of just having to hold up, instead of just having to do that you can also bring them to you when you're not having it out and then I suggest adding the negative one coordinate because commands run at your head which is a good thing to note <laughs> commands do run at your head so if you want them to be at your feet or in the middle of your course cursor it's probably better if you just add a negative one and you can have around three, four I think you have a four block region survival don't try this on creepers though I'm pretty sure they'll explode oh no they don't but you don't have the reach Let's see. Three would probably be the best in survival then, if you're trying to make a Jujutsu Kaisen thing. But it's at that reach that creepers do have range. So be warned, use the only the range version on creepers.
And you got anyway, thank you for visiting my ramble induced video. The commands will be in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.